Welcome back to my Recon Mark III build videos and we're going to start doing uh, the major electronics part now uh, and building up all these items ready to go onto this plate that then attaches to the main airframe. It's what I like to think of as the electronics core. Now what I like to do is actually get all the electronics set up and working on the bench before I start bolting them together. So step one is I'm going to plug uh, my leads into my receiver and there are some great photos on the Paris board product page that show this wiring very well and the colour code and the order of the connections. So rather than me try to t talk you through what I'm doing here, have a look at that picture on the web on the on the page and the colour code is there. But basically we've got six channels we need to plug into our receiver. That's the correct colour order for a Taba. Isn't it frightening I can do it without looking. Alright, so this is a GPS board. Um, the track on the IMU to the mag center has been cut right there. So having cut that, it means that the GPS must always be plugged into the board. If it isn't, you will get errors when you do so. So now what I'm gonna do is plug in my USB lead to my computer. Okay. Everything will power up off that and I will open up the multi-wee config software also known as the GUI and I will use the GUI to do that set the radio setup. Alright, covered that in other videos, so I'm not gonna cover that now, but basically I'll just connect. Wait for lights to st sort of stop blinking on the Paris board. Then click start. If you're using a NASA, you'd have to do the NASA setup. And and all oh, my channels on the radio are working okay. And I will just change a couple of things on switches here. that so um, low mid high mag barrow angle okay okay all right so just double check all that's correct great right cool all right, so that's basically all I'm going to do with that for now. With the radio setup, it's I've got a bit of fine tuning to do, which I'll do later, but it's all working. I've had a look on the screen, and that's all there, so I can unplug the USB. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build my stack. All right, and previously we'd have this at the bottom, but this is a new um, idea that I saw. Uh, from I've seen from Quinton, so I'm going to do it for this build. So basically, instead of that plate going on, to, screwing down onto the top plate of the airframe and all the electronics rising up, we're going to reverse it. We're actually going to use some spacers to space this board above the airframe, and I'm going to do the stack of electronics down from that. So. Just noticed a bit of a bug, so I'm just going to have a bit of a play with something to see if this might work. Alright, so first things first, we screw our four space, short spaces into the bottom side of this board. The top side has the metal rings, and you can do so if you wish. I like to actually trim the excess bits of nylon off there just with a sharp knife 
once I've got these on. I'm not going to bother with it now, but it's just something I like to do. It's up to you. So, four nylon screws into the bottom of the plate. Then I'm going to sit the plate over the top of the andromeda and use the long spaces to screw the andromeda to the underside of the plate. Okay, two, that clicking sound is just the hex nuts rubbing on the LEDs, don't worry about it, you're not going to break anything doing it, right? So, if you've done it right, the logo on the Andromeda board lines up with the cutout on the plate. The next thing we do is getting it all lined up the right way around. The Paris then goes underneath the Andromeda and we use the long nylon screws to hold it in place. Okay, so there is my electronic core stack done. Okay, there we go. Nicely done up. Now, next thing we need is to grab from our hardware pack these four long grub screws. Okay, and our four red spaces. And grab our airframe back. Okay, so the four grub screws I can attach. Don't need a radio on. They go into the inner threaded hole on the boom blocks. Okay. Screw them about halfway down. So they're sticking out about five mils each. Then the red spaces screw onto the top of them. One, two, three, and four. Okay, now we had one spare connector on our power line. The long wire off the andromeda plugs onto that. There's the trigger wire off the andromeda plugs onto the trigger output. The black wire that comes off the andromeda plugs onto the LED output on the Paris board. Now, just going to sit this here for the moment just to show you and I'll come back and do the tidy up of the wiring later but now that little pod sits on top of those four spaces and four screws the 
holds it in place. Just going to do two up for the moment because I want to have a play with the wiring, the electronics, and how I'm going to do all that in a minute. Okay, the GPS unit will sit on the end of the boom here. I'll probably mount the I'll rerun this the receiver wire, which can unplug from the side of the Paris board. I'll run that down and through and actually have the receiver sitting inside the frame and have the um, inside the frame and have the little antenna wires. I'll have them sitting out the back of the tail here uh, with the GPS above them. Okay. And basically, and as you can see there, we've got all the electronics all the electronics still very accessible, but protected within this top plate. So don't need the plastic dome anymore. It's all just as visible. You can clearly see the LEDs all the way around. And um, much, much needed solution. I really like this, and I'm thinking about how I can go back to my other airframes and actually tidy that up. Okay? So I'm going to go away, I'm going to add some cable ties and tidy some wiring up. And then the only thing left to do is to add the skids and the props. And after I've done a test flight on it, I'll actually put the camera mount on the front. So, um, great, I'll uh, be back later.